What's up guys, More Medic One here. And today I wanna go over this little Kawasaki mule. This will be kind of be a, I don't know, part two of the catastrophic bearing failure. And I showed you yesterday that the customer lost all of his brakes because the, the rotor, I mean the drum, was rubbing the wheel cylinder and and basically rubbed it down far enough to where it got into the, uh, the seal and all the fluid leaked out. I've got my new brake cluster right here and we're gonna install that. Somebody made a little mess there on the ground. Somebody was walking through, that was in that little black Dodge Charger over there, was walking through and uh, stepped right in my oil container and just got oil everywhere, man. Anyway, go ahead and slide that on. We're gonna bolt it on. But what I wanna show you guys is how flipping easy it is to change the bearings in these hubs on these Kawasaki mules. So simple. And the reason I had to replace this knuckle, and I'll show you here in a minute. Once you get your drum off, this axle just slides right out. And then you can knock the seal and the bearing out on both ends with just the drift punch and works absolutely flawless. Slide your new uh, axle in, the, the seal actually rides on this surface right here. So be careful that you don't roll that lip, kind of twist it as you're pushing it in and then you'll be good to go. But check this out. I've got this old knuckle just chucked up in my vise here, but check out the race, no, not even the race. This is where the bearing would seat up against down in the hub and it's just completely chewed away. As you can tell, I've got a couple of score marks in there trying to get that old race out, thinking that I was gonna be able to save this knuckle, but no point on that for sure. Here is the old axle, and I didn't even try to drive this bearing off because it was rust welded and just seized on. So when I drove this out, the bearing came with it. But where this other bearing rides, on this axle, look how it's just grooved, just completely wore out. And some of you guys in the comments were like, how in God's green earth could you not hear that grinding or feel that trying to lock up? And I, viewers, I don't have the answer to that. So anyway, guys, I've got the brake cluster mounted on the right side. And we're gonna get the one mounted on the left side. We're gonna get the brakes bled. And then we'll probably do another video because the muffler is completely blown out just from rust. And I'll, we'll talk about that and why that happens here on the next video. Y'all have a good rest of your day. More Medic One.